Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures in the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling a twofer. Uh, SOC 140, Fishing Mail Detected Suspicious Task Scheduler. Event ID is 82. And this occurred March 21st, 2020 at 12.26 p.m. Looks like we have an email from... Uh... Aaron Liu at cmail.carlton.ca uh, CA is what? Dot California? Canada, maybe? I don't know. Okay, now I have to know. Dot CA. Huh. Looks like it. Oh, no, Canada. Yeah, I'm not going to... Don't care about that. Okay. All right, so we got a Canadian email going to Mark in regards to the COVID-19 vaccine. Interesting thing is that this thing shows as blocked. Let's see. Let's bring up a good old Telos. Give it the IP address. Hmm, Canada, but yet it's routed through Mexico. So yeah, this is obviously a bad email. <laughs> I mean, giant surprise, COVID-19 vaccine, so something that's topical. Hey, did you read the breaking news about COVID-19? Open it now. So they are attempting to entice you to go through and force the sucker open. So inside the zip file, we do find a... PDF document and the virus total results on that said PDF document a lot of nada so we take that PDF we open it in a sandbox mind you so let's see what do we get we get several areas that are all hyperlinked it all points to, let's see, where was it? HTTPS colon slash slash a dot P-O-M-F dot cat slash H-G-F-E-T-B dot R11, which is, I believe, something used by Rinrar. Which goes through, yep, it pulls it down, we open it and contains a supplies list executable yeah supply list i'm sure there's probably something else to it exe i guess when i ran it in the sandbox i should have probably expanded that sucker out and then we see nothing but in the background let's see so where do we go so supplies list opens up command modifies scheduled tasks runs a vbs script and then we end up with this hfhvfu.exe <laughs> taking the .exe we just get we run it through and we get a 50 out of 7 or 51 pardon me out of 70 detection on virus total. Loderat. Trojan. Obviously nothing good. So what do we get here? Suspicious encoder. Anything that specifically spells out. Oh, there we go. Start registered rule set. Loda rat. <laughs> There's the reference back to HFHVU or VFU.exe. There was also a hybrid analysis run that was done. 
where we see more of the... Well, this one didn't apparently run through because I don't see the scheduled task section. So did we not get... Well, we did end up getting the confirmation, but we didn't apparently go any further than that. Okay, well, that's fine. Now, where was that run from? See users admin app data. Roaming, win data. Okay, so, but we've got, at least from the any.run, a pretty good description as to what would end up flowing out. So... Let's walk this back, and let's take a look at log management and endpoint security. We have to find Mark. Well, let's take the SMTP address. We got one. Exchange. There's our detection. Destination address, 172.16.23. Go to endpoints, search for that. We get, oh, just the exchange server. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's not going to help us a whole heck of a lot. Sutton tells me there's going to be a story involving this exchange server at some point. Okay, so let's see if we can't find anything that makes reference to... Mark. Mark's phone. Mark Prod. This is all the way back in 2020, though. We'll just assume that was not... No agent installed, so we can't really piggyback on that at all. Um, so let's go back. We'll take a look at our connection list. It looks like it's a 69.39.225.3 for that a.pumpf.cat. So we'll go back to the endpoint log. Nothing. not appear to be any outgoing traffic. Uh, let's take Mark's prod machine. Let's set that as the source address to work this from a different angle. Show me everything that it's looked at. This goes all the way back to 2020. So it looks, yeah, we didn't have anything involving a Word doc. So let's see. It's kind of odd, then, that we would actually see Suspicious Task Scheduler. I mean, the device action was blocked. So effectively, we have a black hole, so to speak. We can't look into what happened on Mark's PC, Mark Prod. Because the agent doesn't seem to work. Yes, yes, no, this... And there's no log for the phone. But we don't see any sort of actual traffic through. So while, yes, the email is malicious, I take it they mean that it's blocked. So then the question is, how did we get a suspicious task scheduler then? For the rule. Unless maybe the exchange server has a sandbox to sit there and take all this stuff and detonate it in, to in which it recorded. I don't know. I'm kind of curious myself. But So we'll go ahead and we'll take ownership of event 82 and we'll work through the playbook. Create the case. Start the playbook. Parse the email. Were there attachments? Yes. 
the attachment was malicious. Add the artifacts. So we're going to grab the PDF itself to start with. That is the... We're just going to call it mal PDF for malicious. Uh, email sender, we've got that. Not that that really makes a whole lot of sense because that more than likely is spoofed. That's what it looks like is spoofed. Uh, we have an IP address. The SMTP address. So realistically, I guess we could just basically add the uh, add make a black list for 189, 162, 189, 159. So let's add that in there. So that's Mexico SMTP from the email. And because we've actually gone through We'll take the MD5 of, oh, virus totals got it. Details, that's the actual malware. Ah, uh, let's see, take that. What did we confirm that was? Lodorat. I'll go here, so we should have two more. One's going to be a URL, one's going to be an IP address. Oh, I guess the other aspect is too. We're going to have the email domain. Spoofed. Okay, so URL address, that goes back to here. Right there. A dot poomph dot cat. So that's the URL address. Uh, then the IP address. So we would, just like what we did, we would take a dot poomph dot cat. And we would look in the firewall logs, proxy logs, for any sort of connection to either the domain or the IP, just to make absolutely sure nobody did anything stupid. IP address. We'll just put it in there. Okay, we've got that built out. Was it delivered to user? Well, considering the fact that the device action was blocked, I'm going to say non-delivered. But because we basically sandboxed it, we have all the records. And we're going to go ahead and do OK. This was indeed a true positive because this was a indeed phishing mail. And had this run in the environment, it would have created a suspicious entry in the task scheduler. So right on. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, spoofed. Email with EDF attachment leading to Loderat. Suggest blocking SMTP IP and the Alert. And what do we have? Hey! Whoa, wait, no. Wrong one. <laughs> Getting a little bit too excited there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
So, looks like that's all the answers they were expecting. So, there we go. SOC 140, Fishing Mail Detected, and Suspicious Task Scheduler, Event ID 82, for March 21st, 2021, at 12.26 p.m. I will see everybody in the next exercise video.